Hello and welcome to the Maxon Video Quick Tips. The new physical renderer of release 13 comes with different rendering modes. One of them is adaptive, which is standard, but you can also render in the progressive mode. If you click render in picture viewer in the progressive mode, the rendering will be pretty fast. You will have some grain in your picture, but you get a fast result so you can check if your light or your settings are correct. If you look down here, you can see we also have passes going on and with each pass, the quality of the picture gets better and the grain gets away. But can you even use it for animation? Because the progressive mode will render on and on until you stop it. Yes, you can. Simply go to the render settings and click on this small black arrow here. Here you will find the settings for the progressive mode. The standard is infinite. Of course, you can change it to a pass count. So let's say the image reaches the quality that you wanted at 70 pass counts. Then you can put in the number 70 and each frame of your animation will render only for 70 passes. And of course, you can change that to a time limit. So each frame gets a specific amount of time that it will render. This gives you the possibility, depending on your frame count in your animation, that you can calculate how much time every frame needs that your whole animation is for example finished at 6 o'clock in the morning. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.